Well, that's a fashion statement for 2020. <laughs> what am I wearing on my face? Can you figure it out? No, it is not a surgical grade <laughs> hospital mask of any sort. Painter's mask, N95 mask, nothing. It's a no-sew mask that you can make at home if you want to. I am in no way advocating that you go out and do this. Therefore, I assume no liability. I'm just showing you what I learned online and decided to try myself. I'm showing you how I did it. So take a look. I'll show you what I did. So here is a trusty tube sock. Actually, let me take this thing off so you can hear me better. Okay. So now, this is Hanes. Uh, it's a full-length uh, tube sock. Not a knee sock, but a tube sock. Um, what I saw online was it was done with a woman's, I guess, um, ankle ankle length sock. But my ankle length socks, which I wear in the summertime when I wear shorts, was too short to wrap around my ears. So, and I, yes, I have tons of sewing machines here. I can sew. I know how to sew. I have actually, actually, I have a tiny bit of elastic that I could make, you know, the X, Y, and Z, make it all nice and pretty. But I figured, let me try this no sew version. That's, that's the beauty of this is no sew. So what you're going to do, this sock in particular has a lot of cushion at the bottom. Uh, it's designed more like a sports sock. So when you step, it's got more cushion at the, on the bottom. The top half of the sock here. It's just like your regular thickness. So this is what you're going to breathe into. Actually, in, in particular, this area where the where the heel is, that's going to go over your nose and your mouth and your chin. And it's it's got this little um, curve to it. And that fits nicely around your mouth so that it's not with material completely pressed up against your mouth. Um, no, there's no nose thing to kind of pinch against your the top of your nose to seal it in. I got to figure out something to do with that. But for now, what you do... Um, it's, it's better than nothing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you get your sock and you're going to fold it, you know, this way. In, in other words, so that on both sides, it's cushion on the bottom here and cushioned, you know, on the bottom here as well. Take a pair of scissors and you're going to cut from here all along here, this whole top ridge line here, right to about there. Okay. Now, measure twice, cut once, right? So this is where your mouth is going to be, uh, as long as there's enough cushion on this side, which is, this is like a perfect area for your mouth. This is the way I did it, anyway. So right around here where this black line is, roughly around there by your toes, you're going to take a, a, a scissors, and you're going to cut about, I don't know, inch, maybe inch and a half in here, okay? And don't go all the way through, okay? So... The top line is all cut. Before you open it up, cut here. Okay. Then you can open it up. See, so open it up. Um, you know, so it's going to look like that. Now, like I said, this is where my mouth goes. This incision now is a nice little ear hole. Okay. If you're following the direction so far. And then over here, measure twice, cut once. Let me show you. As you're adjusting for your face, uh, there's going to be a, a bit of excess material like that, okay? So basically, what I figured out was the distance from here, where does my ear feel comfortable? Kind of hold your finger, oh, right around there. Okay, so once again, from the same edge here, right, you're going to cut up about inch and a half, maybe two inches, whatever, do not go all the way through. Don't. Now, from over here, you can now cut this excess material off. Like that. That's what's left over from the other sock. So this is what it's going to look like when you're done. And then, oh, like I said, open it up. This is going to be where your mouth goes. Ear hole over here. Ear hole. Wrap it around your face. And um, there you go. So, again, it I mean, it's, you know, it's actually quite comfortable. There's no way to pinch by the nose here like a, like a regular painter's mask or N95 mask would be. But you see how there's got this little bulge here, which is nice. It actually, to me, it's very, very comfortable. Um, I mean, it's, you know, 
you do what you can. You know what I'm saying? Um, this is what I did. Again, I don't want to get in trouble if somebody tries it and then it fails or whatever. I'm telling you right now, this is, I'm only telling you this is what I did because I saw this online and I see a lot of people making masks and yes, I could make my own. I have a few sewing machines here and things like that. But to me, in a pinch, you know, it'll, it's better than nothing. So anyway, be safe out there. Um, take care, wash your hands and, um, hang in there. Okay, God bless.